Definition. Good evening and thanks for joining us. We begin with the latest on an Oklahoma County District Judge accused of committing perjury and fraud. Judge Tammy Bass LeSure and her husband Carlos were charged yesterday with more than 35 felony counts for taking money from the state to care for twins that they adopted but never lived with. Prosecutors allege the LeSures gave the twins to the sister of the judge's bailiff. Tonight, the birth mother of the babies tells us how she felt she had no choice but to let the judge adopt her babies. News 9's John Jordan has been following the story and has the latest. John? Well, Ed, Capri Whitehead said she wanted to keep her babies, but was constantly pressured to give them to Judge LaSure by a DHS worker named Ravonda Latrice Edwards. Edwards, we now know, is the sister of the judge's bailiff. Whitehead said she never could understand why Edwards was so persistent until now. Ravonda was like interceding for us. You know, she would, if I talked to her, then she would go tell judge, or the judge would talk to her, and then she'd call me. You know what I mean? She was like the middle woman. Capri Whitehead said it started three years ago. Judge Tammy Bass LaSure and Ravonda Edwards trying to get her to hand over her parental rights over twin babies to Judge LaSure. She says they were willing to do anything and everything to make it happen. Because they even, Ravonda came and picked me up and took me to pay like a fine that I had just to, you know, it was like, look, to show in good favor, look, what else, anything else you need us to do just so I could relinquish. Whitehead said she wanted her kids but was barely able to take care of herself at the time, so allowed her kids to be adopted, not only because she thought it was best, but because she felt intimidated by Judge LaSure. She took me through the wire, you know, the ringer. You know, she took me through all this mess. All types of stuff from my past resurfaced that I didn't even know nothing about, you know. Things that, you know, and I know that was her doing. I know that was, you know, just making me look bad in court. Intimidated by the judge and pressured by Edwards. Ravonda would call me and, I mean, she tried so hard through that all that time to get me to relinquish and uh, and, and I just didn't understand what is it, what is the big deal? I mean, why did, why is she tried so hard? Now that she feels she knows, Whitehead believes Judge LaSure will eventually be held responsible. She's going to get hers, you know, despite what happens in the court, you know, um, when the trial does happen or whatever, you know, the Lord will deal with her in her own way, you know, he's going to deal with her. Now, if it is true that the judge and Edwards coaxed Whitehead into giving up her kids because of her past, it's worth noting Edwards has a history of her own in addition to being identified as an arson suspect in court documents. We also learn the alleged caregiver, caregiver is facing five felony charges, including assault and battery. Ed. John Jordan reporting for us. We have tried to talk with the judge and members of the Edwards family to get their side of the story, but they have refused to comment to the